Hello all and welcome to my YouTube channel. So today in this particular video, I am going to be discussing about YOLO Act, which is an image segmentation algorithm. So it has been developed by YOLO authors, which has been already uh, been giving better results in terms of prediction. So uh, it's a continuation of YOLO uh, in terms of image segmentation. So they have developed an YOLO Act which is an uh, algorithm which generally used for image segmentation. So in my previous tutorials, uh, I have covered a lot of videos on orbitations as well as on uh, YOLO version 5 and YOLO version 4 and orbitation using Adiotron 2. So you can go into my channel and, and uh, refer to the, uh, to the uh, orbitation playlist and you can watch all those orbitation uh, videos and you can get uh, Velvers idea uh, regarding the orbitation. So in this particular tutorial, we're going to be seeing an addition uh, reduction over the orbitation uh, thing, uh, which is an uh, image segmentation. So this time we're going to use an YOLO based image, image segmentation model that is YOLO Act. So in this uh, video, I will be giving a uh, general walkthrough of the architecture of YOLO, uh, YOLO Act and how it has been developed. So uh, this is the real paper uh, they have published in 2019. So uh, let's go and discuss the architecture of this particular YOLO Act. So our main objective is to read the uh, masked uh, images with the object actions. Uh, so there are many many kind of architectures has been used uh, in parallel or inside the uh, YOLO Act. So one of the architecture it has been used is F. FPA network and then protonet uh, and and various operation techniques so they are, they have combining they have combined all those techniques and algorithms together and prepared on yolo act model so in this particular image you can see th this is an image a uh, girl is playing a, with a racket uh, that is tennis so this is a racket and this is the girl so we want to direct, direct uh, both of these two a girl and a uh, and a bracket so what uh, this particular architecture consists of is uh, we'll pass this image into this particular architecture which is nothing but a convolutional layer and it is an fpn layer uh, that is they are using so in this fpn network that is features pyramid network what happens is you pass an image and you get high levels of high quality of uh, feature from this particular uh, uh, fpn network so the main purpose of this fpn network is to get the high quality feature images so uh, that's what it does uh, in technical purpose we can say that we we pass an image to a convolution network and then so we take top level features and uh, a feature layer before the top layer and we combine those two features to prepare a one single feature so that is what a, a general fpn network does so it does uh, always uh, from from top to bottom so same kind of approach has been done in fpn network so that it produces the same kind of features by combining the first layer and the previous layer and they combine it to form a new feature so that's how they're going to get in high density pixels or you can say high density features by doing so so this is general overview of fpn so in technical purpose of yolo act which is passed pass an image to fp network so it identifies and high quality features by using this approach and then what it does is it it takes uh, two kind of things that is it start predicting the uh, prediction heads that means the predictions like whether it is a, a person or it is a racket so that's what it does here in prediction head and then it passes to the animus layer that is non suppression layer uh, so uh, if if we pass these predictions if we pass these images to these predictions, uh, it will be identifying many regions over the images. So to suppress this, to identify the main particular uh, or with high confidence level of prediction, uh, this animus layer will help us. So that's what it does uh, in terms of this particular layer. And then uh, in parallelly, it is also passing these features to the protonet. So what does this protonet does is it takes these particular features and mask it and mask in, in terms of particular dis, uh, density of the image pixels and meanwhile the same uh, predictions are going over here for the classes 
so it is splitting the classes and non max separation is also have been applied and then finally uh, it combines both of these things that is this masked uh, features and this particular predictions and combine it and then pass it to the cropping layer so it will crop the layer where the uh, orbit has been detected and then it will pass to the particular threshold value and then it gives the bonding box with this particular image segmentation so this is the flow of particular yolo act and i think it's not very difficult to understand it's very simple they just use fpn layer and they try to get the predictions of the particular classes and then parallelly they pass it to the protonet for mask identification and they combine both of this output and then they pass to the cropping layer and the threshold is being given so that uh, particular identification is done above that particular threshold for better confidence and then they give the output so this is the basic uh, understanding of yolo act and you can also get into the paper and understand a uh, well versed like uh, uh, in a in a better way like what is uh, the architectures uh, they have been using in detail so that's what you're going to uh, get to know here and uh, this is the part of uh, uh, protonet type so this is what it does it identifies the uh, regions uh, where the information is present in form of masks so this is what it does and similarly uh, you can go and understand all of those things here uh, for uh, identification uh, and orbit detection and image segmentation uh, that has been done using yolo act so continuing this uh, particular uh, uh, theoretical task now we'll implement our uh, uh, yolo act in uh, in the collab so for this i am i will be opening this particular uh, collab notebook and where where i have already set up my environment so i will quickly just walk through it so uh, for the for installing yolo act on your system you need to install these many dependencies uh, torch vision and cython and open cv pilo uh, pycoco tools so we'll have to install all these dependencies and you have to clone a yolo act from the github so we have to clone their repository over here by using these particular links and then uh, you have to also use a dcn network that is a uh, deformatted uh, convolution new network which is also been a part of uh, yolo act so you have to you have to take care of that also so you have to download it so you can see uh, they are also using deformable con convolution which are nothing but dcns so uh, it's a, it's a different version of uh, convolution new network so it's it's a not it's not a standard form of convolution network it's a different form of convolution new networks so you can prefer that particular uh, uh, understanding of this particular tcn in uh, different uh, section but for uh, understanding of this particular yolo act just know that there is some different kind of convolution network that is deformable convolution network and we are using that as well in yolo act so uh, we have to also uh, install this tcn network and uh, once this installation is done we have to download the pre trained weights whatever the weights has been uh, trained on the particular uh, train data set uh, like uh, coco data set so we are downloading those weights over here of yolo uh, yolo act and once that is done uh, we will get a uh, set of images uh, from a particular links and uh, then we'll pass this particular downloaded uh, images to the uh, downloaded model that is pre trained model and uh, by using this particular command that is yolo act slash uh, uh, eval dot pi uh, we're gonna get uh, uh, the downloading uh, download, downloaded weights and then the path of the configuration files of yolo act and then the threshold and and then the, and then the top k15 uh, sampling and then the we are we are going to give the images the, the downloaded images that we have downloaded just now and then we get will get the inference output from this particular yolo act so once this particular uh, inferencing script has been run so we'll will show up the output we'll print the output here so you can see it is rating uh, the persons and the surfboard and you can see it is able to rate uh, the birds with the image segmentation happening uh, inside this particular box you can see and uh, this is all about this uh, particular detection using yolo act so you can also uh, train your own uh, custom model so that's part of the next video i guess and we'll look upon it how how we can train the yolo act uh, from 
from our own custom uh, data set and this video is just an uh, introduction to an yolo act and the uh, the inferencing part how it has been doing and uh, you can prefer my older videos on auto-detection as well so uh, this is all about this video i hope you enjoyed it thank you